Good morning and good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Asian Productivity Organization Pro Presents uh, Productivity Talk. I'm Kenji Watanabe, March Country Program Division, APO. Uh, nice to meet you, everyone. Uh, today's topic is Toward Sustainable Forestry. Productivity of forestry is not only productivity of cutting tree and making lumber, Growing period of tree from its seedling, five years, 10 years must be considered. Such growth of tree must be sustainable. Forest is important not only for forestry, but also for human life. We have to save forest in the world for next generations. Today, we invited a guest speaker from Forest Stewardship Council, FSC. I think many people already know this logo mark. Uh, let me introduce today's guest speaker, Ms. Jaiko Fang, Head of Market Development, FSC Asia Pacific Regional Office. She's based in Hong Kong. Good afternoon, Ms. Uh, Jaiko. Thank you for coming today. Good afternoon, Mr. Watanabe-san. Thank you so much for having me here. I appreciate you inviting FSC Asia Pacific to this interview. And I look forward to talking with you about my organization. Also, good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for having, um, thanks so much for taking time and making time to join us during this lunch hour. I hope you will enjoy today's forest walk. I think many people have interest in FSC. So could you briefly introduce FSC for viewers? For oh, sure, yes. Since our topic is about forests today, I would like to take you to different FSC certified forests in Asia, re Asia Pacific region as well. If you have any idea about where this forest is from, then you could actually tell us in the chat box here, and I will let you know the answer in the info uh, and the info about this FSC certified forest in the end of my presentations. So thank you so much. And um, I start my presentation now. The, um, the Forest Stewardship Council, that is the long name for FSC, is a global not-for-profit non organization dedicated to promoting responsible forest management around the world. Our mission is forest for all forever. And we promote environmentally appropriate, socially beneficial, economically viable management of the world forest. So 19 year, 19, 29 years ago, the 1992 Earth Summit in Rio failed to produce an agreement to stop deforestation. In response, a committed group of businesses, environmentalists, and community leaders joined forces together to create a revolution concept. This is our uh, voluntary market-based approach that would improve forest practices worldwide. FSC was officially founded in 1994, now headquartered in Bonn, Germany, with a three-chamber balance membership. Since then, the FSC certification scheme has been assuring the forest product are uh, responsibly managed and harvested. And also today, we are the world's most trusted sustainable forest management solutions for to deliver positive impact for forest market and the people. And we also have the various stringent certification scheme. Our core, the core of FSC is the certification scheme here. We can see in this slide, we are the standard setter. We do not do certifications audit ourselves. And we also do not issue certificate. And the, this is the work for certifications body. So there is an international accreditation body called Assurance Services International, ASI, to approve the list of independent certifications bodies who carry out FSC audit according to FSC policy and requirements. So the certifications body also issued the certificate to businesses if the businesses aligned FSC 
standards when they uh, do the um, productions and sourcing and trading. So you can see the uh, information here that shows the FSC system. And FSC also have two main certifications type for businesses and also a promotional license for retailers. From the very beginning of this value chain, you can see the forest here, which is about the forest management. Forest management is the FM certification. So starting with the forest management, all these forests has to be um, certified in order to become FSC certified timber or wood to pass on to the rest of the value chain. So the rest of the value chain in the middle of this value chain here that they would need to apply for the chain of custody, which is the second type of FSC certifications. And the COC certifications apply to all types of businesses that they trade, they produce, they process, they print FSC certified forest product. And then they also at the end of the value chain that the end producer that would they would put the FSC label on the product and sell it to the retailer. And so at the retailer level that they could also apply for the promotional license that they use the promotional license to promote the use or the sell of the FSC certified and labeled product to the consumer. And so this would be the, um, the FSC supply chain here. And some examples for the promotional license holder here are the Japanese Consumers Cooperative Union, Coles, Meiji, McDonald's, and Watson's, and more. And more you can actually find on the FSC database that you can find the full list of the FSC certified company, also the promotional license holder on online in about 24 hours real time. Okay. And today, FSC operates over, 20, uh, over 80 countries and has over 1,000 international members. We have over 228 million hectare, hectares of FSC FM certified forest area, which is about the size of about um, 392 million football fields. Or it also equals to about uh, the size of 200 of 2,000 of Hong Kong. Over, um, we also have the uh, chain of custody certifications globally that um, over 120 markets um, with 49,000 of COC certificates, my apologies. And over 1,000 1, brands and retailers having the promotional license holder to help spread about the world of responsible forest products that they are sourcing to sell it to the consumer. And all together that you can see here, the about uh, over 90,000 of the companies in this world that they are actually using FSC certified materials, producing FSC certified product, trading the FSC certified product, sell and use the FSC certified materials globally. Okay. And then um, we would like to also learn about the region, right? Um, FSC International has the FSC Asia Pacific Regional Office um, based in Hong Kong, opened 10 years ago in 2011. The regional office oversees the FSC local operations, which includes 10 offices that you can see in the map throughout the region to deliver our missions of forest for all forever. And so this is my overview on the um, FSC history and about the all the FSC. Thank you very much for your introduction of FSC. FSC has wide network in the world and many people are obtaining your certifications. Forests are important, not only for local forestry, but also for people around the world. But these important forests are in danger. What is going on forest in the Asia Pacific region? How FSC can help and benefit the world forest from Asia Pacific perspective? perspective. Yep. Thank you so much, Watanabe san. Then let me introduce about this FSC, um, how FSC protect the world forest from APEC APEC perspective. And then if you can see the slide that here is another picture about our uh, FSC certified forest in the region. And I will tell you more in the end as well. 
And about the um, APEC overview, according to the United Nations Food and Agricultural Organizations, the FAO between 2015 and 2020, the rate of global deforestation was estimated to be around 10 million hectares per year, equivalent to more than 15 million, 40 million football fields. We are living in a world where natural resources are being rapidly repleted and where the impacts of the climate change are becoming more and more severe. Only when every industry practices responsible, res responsible resource management will we be able to stem and reverse this trend. As the world's most populated region and home to its fast-growing economies, growth and development in Asia Pacific simply has to be move, moving in a sustainable direction. So we are going to see the wood tray flow in 2019 that you can see people in this region actually sourcing wood from Europe, Australia, Vietnam, North America, and also um, other places and other countries. Then the destinations are going to China, Japan, and Korea. So we rely a lot more on the um, resources from outside. And so for businesses that rely on forest resources, the use of FSC certified material is a critical step. Currently, there are about 8 million hectares of forest in APEC certified to FSC. So in FSC standards, the, the very stringent standards that as mentioned earlier, that they are also certified by a third party. So they are, we are independent from all those certifications body and independent from the companies, which ensures the credibility and prioritizes the responsible management of forests. FSC has developed a set of 10 principles and 70 criteria that apply to forests around the world. There are many benefits to FSC certifications. First, we help assurance the legality and we help create positive impacts on ecology, biodiversity and ecosystems. ecosystems. Um, we also help create positive social impacts as certifications require that workers' rights are protected and employment conditions are optimal. So FSC also requires that indigenous people rights of ownership and management of land are identified and upheld that every certified businesses, every certified business contributes to maintaining or enhancing the social and economic well-being of surrounding communities. Thirdly, FSC deliver possible economic impact for businesses, communities, and countries by requiring compliance with laws and enhancement of proper management plans and um, long-term management, um, long-term economical viability of a forest management unit is maintained and enhanced. So certifications allowed a greater variety of forest products to be produced and promoted, including non-timber forest products like um, FSC certified natural rubber and lathes, uh, bamboo, rattan, syrup, and others. All these positive impact help to create a long-term sustainable economic model, exactly what the world needs to be able to combat, combat the problems of the deforestation and climate change together. Therefore, about 40% of FSC COC certificate holders are found in APEC because a lot of um, buyers are actually coming to us for the FSC product and materials in this region and then sell it to other countries and other regions. Um, if you'd like to find um, them, this FSC certified company, then you can actually go to the FSC public certificate search database, the info.fsc.org to contact them for FSC certified materials or product. And remember, FSC is an a non-profit organization, we are an NGO, we don't have any product to sell to you. So um, if you would like to source FSC certified product, go to this certified company on the database. Okay, And almost everything can be found in the forest could become FSC certified. 
So you can see this graph here. The most common products are the construction timber, furniture, paper, tissue, and packaging. That you can see a lot of packaging materials, paper material, tissue product in the supermarket. They are FSC labeled. And have you ever have you ever thought about that natural rubber from rubber trees can become FSC certified as well? They are the non-timber forest product. Did you know that textile product could also come from tree fiber that uh, and get FSC certified to make sure that they don't harm the forest ecosystem? So these are the emerging trends of product that you can find in the market now. And um, how do you actually know the forest products are from the good forest management when you shop? So when you shop that you do look at the product if they have the FSC label for the forest product. And we have three types of FSC label. So I would like to introduce you the first type, which is the FSC 100%, which means all of the materials coming from FSC certified forests align with the 10 principles that I just introduced to you. And then the FSC recycled, which means the materials coming from eligible recy recycled and reclaimed sources, they are either post-consumer or pre-consumer, and then it has to be 100% reclaimed or recycled materials in order to put the FSC label of recycled label on the product, okay? And then the last one, the third one is the FSC mix. FSC mix means the labels coming from uh, Seventy percent of FSC certified forests aligned with the ten principle, and then the rest of thirty percent coming from either the control with materials or the eligible with recycled materials to make up the FSC mix product. Okay, so with these labels, the consumer can distinguish the FSC sources and with the informed choices about the forest product here. So um, this is the overview about the APAC and the from the FSC perspective. Back to you, Watanabe-san. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Jaiko. Large areas forest is decreasing year by year. We need to reverse this trend, that's right. Forest is important for people in the world, but problem of the forest are too big to solve them by single person. I think many people's cooperation is necessary to solve them. What are you doing to move people towards sustainable forestry? Yeah, you're totally right. And about all else, that actually FSC is a collaborative organization. We believe the businesses, government, consumers, and individuals have to work together. In fact, our success depends on such collabor collaboration. A visible reminder of this cooperation is when a product or packaging has the FSC label on it. I just mentioned the FSC label, right? And this reminds consumers that the forest-based materials in that product were responsibly sourced. The FSC label enables both businesses and consumers to make informed choices about the forest product they buy. They help create further positive change in the market communities and forests of today and tomorrow. Our promotional license holder are also a key part of our collaborative strategy. Over 70% of FSC worldwide of uh, total promotional license holder are in APEC. And they help to promote and build awareness of FSC through B2B, the business to business, and B2B to see the business to business to consumer programs. Uh, exploring new markets like textiles, bamboo, and rubber. All this creates a virtuous cycle of at that attracts more brand brands and players along the value chain to choose FSC. So behind the label, FSC works with stakeholders and businesses to promote responsible forestry and the procurement of responsible forest products by linking FSC certified suppliers with buyers around the world. Before the pandemic, actually we frequently travel and held um, regional in-person events and activities to, co to connect businesses and raise awareness about the importance of responsible forestry. So we have held several virtual events 
Um, uh, and seminars over the past 18 months during the pandemic. But we are looking forward to uh, resuming face-to-face -face meeting when the situation permits. So the past events have included here that FSC APAC Business Forum in 2017, 2018, and 2019. These were held in Hanoi in Vietnam, Mumbai in India, and Shanghai in China, respectively. The next one will be in Hong Kong, I hope, and we're looking forward to that. And then um, the, we also have the uh, FSC annual uh, FSC Friday Global Awareness Campaign. This was successfully held virtually in 2020 last year. Um, and then in the past years that we also have different events to, to raise the FSC awareness on the responsible forestry with, to the business and also to the general public. So you can see the poster here and this is the FM3 here. So I will also ask you where this forest is from. So um, this is about the wood drop, um, the Japanese movie. And one of the filming locations that I'm going to introduce you is about the, uh, the, the FSC certified forest. And then um, we watched this movie together with businesses um, to introduce them about the responsible forestry. And one of my favorite lines in the movie is respect the forest or it will kill you. So I still, very much remember about this line. And then you can also see different um, events during the FSC Friday in the past years uh, here. And then uh, for this year, the global awareness we ran on FSC Friday, we focus on the save our forest, save our climate. So it's all about how we tackle and fight against the climate change and promote the climate smart forestry together. So you can see from the poster here that we have the um, new FSC Friday logo. We also have different uh, languages, the video in different languages to help us to raise the FSC awareness um, to the to different markets in the region. And so we have uh, the languages in Vietnamese, Thai, uh, simplified Chinese, traditional Chinese, Korean, and also Bahasa, Indonesian Bahasa. And then, then um, we use this uh, video to ask our uh, partners and stakeholders to forward to share this video online um, to help us spread the word to the internal staff or partners and peers and consumer. And then we also have the FSC infographic for the FSC label to further educate business and public about FSC's label's meaning. And now I would like to play you the FSC video. So at the last sentence that you can see the call for action, one simple action can have a profound impact. So we rely on you to choose FSC to help us to promote the responsible forestry and forest product. And in this area that promotion license holder programs held with the brands and retailers is very important to us. They help us to increase the demand for 
and then for the forest product and also drive the supply of the FSC certified materials in the region. And then, uh, so we also have other, uh, the other events and initiatives in these regions. So various education events with businesses and schools, uh, schools across the APAC region, like the FSC Goes to School program with FSC Indonesia and Malaysia, and also FSC Japan, they always have the annual forest week uh, to educate the businesses and businesses to the consumer. So in Hong Kong that we have the scout, get, scout camps and FSC high tea with the business that raised the FSC awareness in Hong Kong. And in um, Asia, in Australia and New Zealand that they also have Kiwi Walk and one series happened in that uh, area. And then we currently working on a new venture with the FAO, the Sustainable Tropical Timber Project which will create an information hub and also the, uh, to create a network linking buyers and suppliers of sustainable tropical timber together uh, to help us to raise the awareness among the businesses in this region. And then um, we also work with the smallholders, people or entities managing small forest plots, uh, also important collaborators in this region, especially. In our FSC Global Strategy 2021 to 2022 aims to grow the FSC certified area to 300 million hectares, of which 50 million hectares will be natural tropical forest and areas managed by smallholders. So um, this will be the overview on the um, how we do the co use the collaborations to help us to raise the awareness to the business and to people in this region to fight against the deforestation and climate change. So back to you, Watanabe-san. Thank you very much, Ms. Jaiko. FSC label enables informed choice for businesses and consumers. So I think FSC is giving opportunities to participate in forest saving activities for businesses and consumers. In Japan, Olympic and Paralympic games were held. A lot of wood products were used for their buildings, such as the stadium. I heard a lot of FSC certified lumber were used for the buildings. Yep. So um, for FSC procurement on uh, all the forest products are the same, um, which is uh, from the FSC COC certification that all the company has to comply with the chain of custody the, in order to source the FSC certified material and trade it to uh, their subsequent buyers. So the, as I said before, the process of certification is strict that this ensures the quality and the uh, sustainability of the product from the forest level and protect the integrity of the FSC label. For FSC product to be, for a product to become as FSC certified, either on a label or on the sales document, um, there has to be an unbroken chain of certified organization cover every legal entity Whenever they change in legal ownerships of the product, this extends from the certified forest up to the point where the product is finished, just like the image show here, also to the retailer or brand owner. Then this chain has to be all FSC certified, as you see in the beginning with the tree from the forest. The code with ACB means the accredited certifications body, that is a short form for them. Uh, different certifications body will have the different shot name. And then the, you can see FMCOC, which means they are from the forest level. So most of the sourcing company that they are actually sourced from the COC company, COC certified company, that they are along the, uh, the whole value chain. So you can see the cert certificate code here is the ACB only COC without FM, which means they are not planting the tree, they are not harvesting the tree, but they are processing, they are trading and further uh, product, doing the productions of the forest product. Okay, and this would be the, um, how we, uh, we sh uh, the people and the businesses source from the FSC certified forest, um, forest product. 
for FSC uh, forest management cover the actual felling and the processing of the tree. So that would be um, more upstream. So for the downstream, all the company has to be FSC certified, no matter they are the sawmill, they are the um, uh, printing company, they need to follow the materials, um, uh, go through all the value chain and being certified. So with the FSC label being placed, uh, being placed on the product by the end of the uh, end producer and being sold or used by the promotional license holders, this reaches the brand owner or retailers, right? And these labels allow the end consumers to easily identify FSC certified forest product. And there are a lot of different FSC certified forest products um, in different value chain. Uh, we are now using the value chain approach, which allows us to help protect the forest in the world. It's, uh, it, it's also effectively um, to find out all the supply chain um, company in the supply chain as well, from the producing, from the, pro, from producing the uh, traditional wood products like the furniture, stationaries, and kitchen implement to, uh, to construction companies that we can find. And these are the stationery made with wood and with the FSC label. And then the next one is the packaging company, the, the fast food restaurant that they source FSC certified tree fiber for their packaging. And also beverages company that they use the FSC certified packaging for the beverages. And then we here we see the paper from the large retailer to paper maker and even the uh, post office that you can see on the left lower left corner that are, that one is the stamp that Hong Kong post office use for uh, use FSC certified paper to make this stamp. And then the next ones are the brands that they are working to eliminate unsustainable wood from the uh, fiber based products um, uh, even for the packaging for the textile and other materials. Now, don't forget the non-timber forest product that, like the natural rubber here. They are here, they are also FSC certified. And uh, you may hear the uh, earlier announcement from Purali and BMW Group that they produced the first FSC certified tires made by the FSC certified natural rubber. And other products made from FSC certified natural rubber are the red sheet, uh, shoe soles and also the hand rolls and um, other nat uh, natural rubber product could be found in the market that help us to protect the forest. Okay, so this is the overview from my side and back to you, watanabe -san. Yes, maintaining trust on FSC level is important. So FSC conducts strict certification and covers whole value chains from trees to commodities. Consumers understand the necessity of sustainable forestry. Then certified products are demanded. So obtaining certification is value added for supply side forestry. Yes, that's very true. And I'm going to tell you about the value of FSC here as well. And we emphasis always emphasis the mutual benefits for FSC and also the businesses and our stakeholders, consumers, forests, and um, uh, the forest ecosystems. And so there are many mutual benefits that FSC helps to create between the forest industry, forest ecosystems, and the people who depend on forests for their life and welfare, livelihood. And consumers all over the planet are becoming increasingly aware of um, and concerned about the origins of the products they purchase. At the same time, company, companies large and small are becoming increasingly committed to making their supply chains and manufacturing processes more environmentally friendly. FSC certification is the bridge between these groups, offering assurance that any product made with forest products like wood pulp, um, rubber, paper, tissue products, um, more and many more are sustainably sourced. 
creating economic value without harming the environment or forest communities. So you can see in this slide here that we can create the economic uh, and social value with the market premium. And from our GlobeScan 2019 market survey that it found 70% of the consumer actually in APEC would like to pay extra money for certified product. And you can also see the environmental and social um, performances for the CSR performance development, for, which can help a company to improve the image and also um, to reach the target of the uh, sustainability um, goal as well. And then uh, the, for the next one, that to show you the FSC uniqueness and how FSC use this uniqueness to help uh, add value to businesses. So FSC is now the certifications of choice for over 90,000 of businesses worldwide. And research shows that businesses that become FSC certified benefit from, benefit from better access to international market have higher revenues, see positive changes to the public image, even have improved the management. Um, there are a number of reasons why, but to list a few here only, that FSC is governed by our members. We are a democratic, chamber balanced organizations that drives the equal input from the social, economic, and environmental spheres. Our standards are higher than any other forest certification scheme around the world. We are the gold standard for the world and are, is recognized by um, an ENGO as well. So we are also respect and uh, we are also respected and credible, being the preferred certification scheme for big brands and many Fortune 500 companies and um, ENGO, as I just mentioned. We are also supported by um, smallholders groups and our standards are globally consistent with the um, uh, 10 principle that I just introduced to you. And then we also think locally to add on the local indicator to different countries level so that um, the country level with the national forest stewardship standard that they would include the local indicator and local characteristic to the um, forest management requirement. And we are very transparent with every process and decision we made being open to public review as well. And you can also find all the FSC certified forest management companies, public summary audit report from the FSC database. That means that you can find you know how the forest management perform during the uh, operations for FSC certification, and you know what they have improved from the annual audit as well. So this is the very unique um, transparent information that you can find about FSC certified forest management company. And as you see, there are many, many more reasons that FSC certification is a good idea for any forest product based business. This is all of my presentations. Back to you, Watanabe-san. Thank you very much, Ms. Jaiko. FSC certification is actually accepted widely by businesses and consumers. Then, obtaining FSC certification became value added. Promotion of FSC certification contributes to make world forestry sustainable. Then productivity of forestry will go up. Uh, now uh, I'd like to uh, introduce uh, one question from chat box from viewers from uh, Australia. Uh, please listen. Does FSC have anything to say about the preferred use of FSC products, for example, such as building material or the chips, something like that? Oh, yeah. So for FSC building materials that we actually have the project certifications in our certification system in the COC certification scheme. So for the uh, building like the um, uh, London Olympic that 
they are FSC project certifications. And then in Indonesia that we recently have the new project certifications of a library that they are sourcing FSC certif certified timber for their materials and then made the whole um, building as FSC certified as project certification. So they use, uh, we encourage them to use the sustainable forest pro timber product to do the constructions work. Yeah. So this is part of the uh, FSC construction timber. And then, as I mentioned, the FAO project that we are working on, that uh, that is going to be the sustainable tropical timber focus. And uh, construction timber is one of our focus to help us use the FSC certifications to drive the FSC material being more um, widely used by different uh, businesses. And so we can, we use that network and the info hub to connect the businesses um, from different parts of the world or different parts of the uh, region to connect them to sell and buy about the FSC uh, certified materials and construction timber. So um, we find the issues here, actually the certified company are not well connected. And so there would be some difficulties for them to find the buyers or find the suppliers in other countries. And so with our help, I hope that we could help them to better source the materials and better use the FSC certified material to produce the product to make more FSC certified and label product being available to the market to help us to raise the FSC availability and visibility. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, from me, uh, please listen. Who needs mm -hmm. FSC certifications. Oh, okay. So for FSC, who needs the FSC certifications would be the, first of all, we have two certifications as I mentioned, right? From the forest management side, the forest manager that who align with the FSC 10 principle and uh, 70 criteria and would like to actually sell their standing timber as the FSC certified wood or sustainable forest timber that they could apply for the FSC certifications for forest management. And then we have like the uh, um, different types of uh, FSC COC certification for forest management. We have single certificates, we have group certifications, multi-site group certifications, or smallholder certifications for SLIM, which is the, um, uh, the, which is called the small and low intensity um, forest management uh, certification scheme for the smallholders that they have um, lower level of education, they have um, small lands that they still want to go to the market access for international um, FS demand on FSC certified wood. So as I mentioned to you that FSC wood demand and the product demand is from international and also the Fortune 500 uh, company, they prefer to, some of them prefer to source FSC certified. So with the FSC certification that we, uh, from the forest management side that we could help them to ex, um, get more access to international market. And then for chain of custody certification, that the, any company that they actually wanted to put the FSC label on the product, we actually receive a lot of inquiries daily which is about how they could add the FSC label on the product or how they could pass on the FSC claim to their subsequent buyers. If they wanted to do this, then they would need to have the FSC COC certifications to help them to put the FSC label on the FSC certified materials or FSC certified product that they are sourcing from the FSC certified suppliers and selling to their subsequent buyers who needs to be claim that they are selling and buying, sourcing FSC certified product from the FSC certified suppliers. So along the, uh, all the FS, forest product value chain, whoever legal entity would like to do these activities that they need to be FSC certified as COC certification, yeah. Uh, thank you very much. So I think it is very uh, good uh, opportunity. I think our viewers want to know uh, how to get FSC certification. Could you explain that? How to get FSC certifications? Actually, this is very easy five steps. 
So first of all, FSC don't do F, uh, all the audit. So you need to contact FSC's accredited certifications body near you. And if you don't have the contact information, then you can contact FSC. We can send you the list of FSC accredited certifications body contact in your area or nearby countries. And then um, you contact the certifications body and then they will send you the information about what kind of uh, documentations that you need to provide them to have the uh, estimations on the scope of the FSC certifications that you would like to do and what standards that you need to follow. So the next step would be you need to prepare the documentations on documenting um, on documenting all the FSC processes in your operations, either forest management or chain of custody, meal factory, um, with all the documented materials and um, uh, document procedures, then you can ask your certification body to do the field audit. The certifications would come to your, your field to test and check and verify if everything is aligned with FSC requirement. So, and then after that, they will send you a uh, audit report with the audit report to stay with uh, everything that they find in the audit. So if the audit fulfilled the requirements of FSC, then they will issue you the certificate. The certificate is actually lasts for five years. During the five years, the company needs to do the annual audit and after, um, for the five years that they need, they need to do the renewal audit at the five years. So this is the step and process for FSC certifications, either for forest management or chain of custody. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Jaiko. Now time is coming. So uh, Ms. Jaiko, please give you a message to viewers. Okay, so before the message, should I also give the answer for the <laughs> photo that I show? That I show yeah. the forest photos that I would like to introduce the FSC certified forest in this region to the audience today here. So here, this is actually coming from China. The Shunchang um, uh, forest farm, they are a state-owned forest farm located in Southeast China. And recently they become FSC's uh, first FSC forest farm in China to adopt the Forest Stewardship Council ecosystem services procedures to verify its positive impact on the environment. With the help of these procedures, the, this plantation forest with the size of two, uh, 23,000 of the football field has been um, able to make its impact on watershed on carbon and biodiversity, both visible and quantifiable. So this is the China forest. I'm not sure if anyone could get the um, right place mm. for this forest. And then the next one is from Indonesia, the Watan timber. And actually you can see the FSC license code here. You just need to go to the FSC database, the info.fsc.org. Then you could actually type in this license code to find out more all the details about this, uh, this certified companies. And they are actually located in East Kalimantan on the Borneo for, uh, island in Indonesia. They, this company actually having uh, 86,000 hectares of FSC certified forest, certified to the FN forest management and chain of custody. And so this area is with the core conservation function with uh, high conservation values that supports the conservations of biodiversity, including rare and threatened uh, terrestrial mammal and bird species. So um, this is the Indonesian version. And then the last one, I think you can all get the answer, right? Because this is the wood job. And in the wood job, that is the they are actually from Japan, you're right. This show you the Japanese cypress wood. And then uh, one of the wood is that they actually sent to Hong Kong for our FSC Friday to, to help us to raise the FSC awareness in Hong Kong to the business and also the consumer that we place this with this in, uh, in the cinema during the week. So um, this is from the uh, Hayami Forest, Hayami Forest. So in Japan, and they are actually the first FSC certified forest in Japan as well. 
And so these are my answer about the forest in this region. And uh, if you have any questions that we can chat more uh, later, or you can actually send me more, um, send me any inquiries in this, um, with, to my email address, okay? And, and then I now can give my words for, the, uh, for this uh, APO mm -hmm. talk, yeah? As the head of market development, my job is to work with businesses, stakeholders, and the public. While the past year has been challenging for businesses development, especially in terms of meeting people and traveling around Asia Pacific. I know the pandemic will end soon. And when it does, then I will be working harder than ever to bring together businesses and individuals from diverse backgrounds with different goals and interests to focus on what is really important to me, which is protecting the world forest. By helping more companies gain FSC certifications and having more FSC label forest product make it to the market. I'm helping create positive impact for the world's forest and the people who depend on them in, and in the end helping to achieve FSC missions, forest for forever. And so I'm really happy to have this chat with you, Watama Bisan, <laughs> and thank you so much. And, um, also, thank you to APO for having FSC here today. And thank you for all the audience to stay till now at the end for spending your lunch time with me and Watanabe san and APO. I hope you learned more about the world's most trusted forest certification scheme during this interview. And finally, that uh, I would also like to ask you to look for the FSC label next time when you shop. It's good for the earth, good for you. And thank you very much. Have a very good and happy FSC Friday. Thank you very much, Ms. Jaiko, for your coming today and informative informative presentation. Your activity is really important to save world forest. I think it is a good system to save world forest using market mechanism. Mm -hmm. I hope you have further success. Thank you very much for viewers today. <laughs> uh, please watch APO Productivity Talk again. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Thank you.